I love the novelist Lawrence Durrell. Here's why. In the prefatory note to Durrell's novel, Balthazar, he writes, Modern literature offers us no unities. So I have turned to science and am trying to complete a four-decker novel whose form is based on the relativity proposition. Three sides of space and one of time constitute a soup mix of a continuum. The four novels follow this pattern. Durrell's masterpiece, The Alexandria Quartet, is modeled after this concept. The first three novels tell of the same series of events from different perspectives, with each new novel recontextualizing what actually happened. These represent the three dimensions of space and show that one perspective can never illustrate the whole picture. The fourth and final novel revisits these same characters five years later, adding the additional perspective of time, creating a continuum. Now, many people, including Durrell's friends, have noted that saying the Alexandria Quartet is a model of the space-time continuum is nothing but a semantic device. These people are, of course, right. A continuum of the sort can only be expressed in mathematics and not in words. But just as, for example, the Mercator projection is meant to give the impression of a sphere, Durrell's Quartet is only meant to give the impression of a continuum. As special relativity forced us to see reality in a new way, the form of the quartet does the same thing with the concept of personality. As space and time are relative to each other, personalities are relative to other personalities. As Durrell's character Balthazar says, each psyche is really an anthill of opposing predispositions. Personality as something with fixed attributes is an illusion. I would go even further and say that personality as exclusive to one person is an illusion as well. Durrell's continuum-like representation of a group of lovers and friends depicts what the Night Vale podcast Twitter handle put so succinctly a few days ago. A name is a lie that keeps you from thinking that you might be more than one single being. It seems to me that the separation of objects in space leads us to believe that we ourselves are separate from the ones we love, when, in truth, we blend into and warp one another in the same way that time and space do in the presence of supermassive objects. I am an active part of the personalities of my friends, just as my friends are active constituents of my personality. Durrell is so important to me because in the Alexandria Quartet and later in the Avignon Quintet, the basic unit of humanity is never an individual, but a group of friends. And to depict the complexity of that unit, Durrell has to contextualize and recontextualize until multiple people begin to feel like one organism. He finds the model in four-dimensional space-time, and it comes off brilliantly. It's the kind of work that breaks down our self-conceptions and shows us what we is. <laughs> If there's a used bookstore around you, go find something by Durrell. The Alexandria Quartet is obviously my favorite, uh, and I think it's the best. Here's Balthazar, and I have some other ones. Yeah! Justine, Balthazar, Mount, Mount Olive, and Clay. And also, I'm reading right now the first of the Avignon Quintet, which is called Monsieur. <laughs>